everybody. I'm Courtney. And I'm Will. We're here in the Neighbor Food Kitchen today, bringing you a great recipe for Runza casserole. We want to thank Ohio Beef for partnering with us to bring you this video. So Courtney, tell us what is a Runza casserole? I've never heard of this before. Runza sandwiches are a very simple sandwich with a really fluffy, yeasty dough wrapped around a simple cabbage and ground beef filling. They do take a little bit more time to make, especially because you're dealing with a yeast bread. So we decided to convert it into a really easy casserole you can make for your family on any weeknight. They think that Runzas originated from Volga Germans traveling to the Midwest and settling in the Nebraska, Kansas area. So that's kind of the origins of it, but it's a thoroughly Midwestern dish. Instead of using a yeast dough, we are using crescent rolls to cut way back on prep time. So let's get started. First, we're gonna heat a little bit of oil in a skillet and we're gonna saute some chopped onions. Once the onions have started to soften and brown just a tiny bit, it's time to add our ground beef and cabbage. I like to use a coleslaw mix for the cabbage because it just cuts back on more prep time. If you want, you can also look for blends that include kale or Brussels sprouts. Really any kind of slaw mix will work, or you can just chop up fresh cabbage. We're gonna let that cook down until the beef is browned and the cabbage has wilted. It'll be about eight to nine minutes. You can drain off any excess fat, and then we're going to stir in the garlic, add some Worcestershire sauce and salt and pepper. Once you've stirred in all of the seasonings, give it a taste. Mm. The seasonings are really simple, so we wanna make sure that there's enough salt and pepper to really make the beef sing. Okay, now that our filling is done, we are going to get our casserole dish and coat it with some cooking spray. Next up, we have our crescent roll dough. It's gonna be in two pieces, and you want those to they together, so don't separate the individual crescent rolls. Just roll those out and kind of pat them down in the bottom of your pan. It's okay if it doesn't totally meet up. As it bakes, it will all blend together. With one layer of crescent dough down, now it's time to spread our filling out in the casserole dish. On top of the ground beef mixture, we're gonna sprinkle some sharp cheddar cheese. The final step is to put another layer of crescent rolls on top. And now it's ready to bake in the oven. It's been about 20 minutes. We'll just grab the casserole from the oven and it is looking fantastic. Golden brown and flaky with lots of melty cheese. So we are just gonna brush the top with some butter. Now we're ready to serve up a slice. We really think your whole family is going to love this easy casserole. It is packed with protein from the ground beef, but it's also got a lot of veggies in it. Because it's got plenty of cheese and that flaky, flaky crescent roll dough, your kids will love it too. Yum. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm. Oh yeah. Cabbage is really nice in that. Mm -hmm. Be sure to check out our website, neighborfoodblog.com, for more favorites. And check out our other website, groundbeefrecipes.com, for lots more ground beef, hearty Midwestern casseroles. Thanks again for joining us, and thanks again to Ohio Beef for sponsoring this video. if I run uh, to the grocery store. <laughs> oh boy. Good luck. <laughs> this is not coming out. Be careful, because they explode. <laughs> there you Ooh, go. This is not coming <laughs> off like it's supposed to. Ooh, oh, get it. But it's a thoroughly Midwestern dish. Just like you. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go. Trying to hulk it. Whoa, Whoa. God!